Hi there. This is Danielle Jashevsky, the North American editor for Labels and Labeling magazine. We're here on the third and final day of Label Expo Americas 2014, and today we're hosting the Craft Beverage Day, where we've invited uh, different beverage manufacturers from the Midwest to come in and um, learn a little bit more and do some knowledge sharing with, with some converters, uh, suppliers, and designers. I'm here with Philip Waymans, and uh, he's with Zycon, and Zycon was a sponsor of the Craft Beverage Day, and uh, he's him and his company have put together some samples for us that demonstrate what digital printing is capable of, and he's just here to tell us a little bit more about that. Yep. Thank you, Daniel. Um, well, having these, uh, these craft uh, beverage people over here, um, what we did is actually we thought um, no better way to address the, uh, the, the passion that these people have in creating their, their beverages. So what we did is actually, being a company coming from Belgium, we brought some uh, proper Belgian beers over, which would certainly would appeal to them, in this case, it's a, it's a beer called Petrus, so it's, it's brewed by also some craft brewers in, uh, in Belgium, showing actually to them that even such kind of companies can stand out towards their customers, creating actually a beautiful package. But besides the package, it's, uh, there's much more to it. I mean, there's also labels involved. Um, and with the, with the digital printing technology that, that is becoming available in the, in the market and the capability that actually printers are using, uh, people are utilizing actually that technology to diversify their communication, making their communication more effective towards the audiences that you try to target. And certainly when you're a craft, uh, craft beverage producer, you do target some different people. People that, like in this case, we're talking about a very special Belgian beer that, uh, that has a specific taste, has a red color also. So there's certainly an audience that is, that is out there and that has a good taste for that, but you need to be able to appeal to those guys. So therefore, we created actually in this case a personalized box and the box itself radiates the, uh, the, 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 the aspect of the beer itself. I mean, you clearly see the bottle on the inside, the glass on the inside. But next to that, then, to make it personal for every visitor, what we did is we used self-adhesive labels to be applied here, where we have then the name of the specific person in there. Uh, besides that, you could, uh, by personalizing boxes, you could also do other areas where you actually are versionizing and targeting different audience. For example, around uh, festivities, or for example, or if you go to a specific event like Label Expo, for which we created actually this box. So those are the different areas where you, where digital printing could could, could contribute to people that are actually targeting much smaller audiences than the bigger brands like Procter and Gamble. So. Now, besides the labels, the boxes, there are also other technologies, uh, for example, the folding carton and such things, and for example, direct heat transfer decoration onto bottles, where people or beverage producers could be, could be using, and I'll show you a sample later on on that. Now, to trigger actually the minds of people, because you take this box home and you think from, okay, this is really my box, uh, but besides that, you don't take away the idea that you could have actually personalized. We actually included into the box also a reel of labels with various, various names. So, so what is it about digital printing that allows um, this personalized and variability? W tell me a little bit more about the technology. So if you look to the technology of digital printing, the, the, the concept of that technology comes down to that you don't have any fixed plates that would uh, illustrate or that would actually contain the content that you're that you're trying to print onto the label. So in this case, every label or every carton can be different. So because you're actually re-imaging the uh, the the image inside the digital press, and that allows you to make actually every piece unique, uh, or that make every piece co contain actually a specific message, unique message towards the audience that you try to target. And that is actually the far extreme that you can take digital printing to. Uh, the basics actually for a, for a normal converter would be to actually optimize his existing, his existing workflow, his existing production process. That is the basis where most, most of the label printers, carton printers are actually utilizing digital printing. But of course, to upsell the capability, then they, you can actually target this kind of things. And this kind of markets, this kind of, uh, com uh, let's say, it's making your communication or allowing the brand owners or the, the microbreweries in this case, to, to uh, make their communication more specific towards us, an audience and actually creating a new product or making communication more effective. And that is actually the essence where we have to look into. If you look to, to packaging and labels, yes, they have to perform in the production line, but in reality, what it all comes down to is that you try to, cr to transfer an image, you try to, to radiate an image to us as consumers at whatever spot where we buy products or where we, get, where we rece receive products. And that is where digital printing will help you actually, or is a tool to help you to diversify yourself from others to make things more unique.
It's definitely about you know a consumer who who wants that same great craft beer, but maybe the label is different every time. So they're still getting the product that they know and love, but they're getting that different experience every time they consume it. Excellent. Thank you.